Hey Gibsters, Miss Johnson here again with another math problem of the day. Today we're going to be focusing on angle measurements within a circle. So this is something that we had started looking at just before we went on this long break from school. So I'm going to start by showing us a few slides that review angle measurements in a circle and then we're going to take a look at a problem. It's important that we remember that every angle that we see can be thought of as a fraction of a circle. Take a look at the image to the right. A circle is equal to 360 degrees. So if I have one whole circle and I have 360 degrees divided by one, we have 360. If I take that same circle, but this time I cut it in half, I now have 360 divided by two, meaning each part of that circle is 180 degrees. We can break up angles and put them together to create a 360 degree angle or parts of an angle. So for example, in the bottom right, we see a 110 degree angle and a 70 degree angle. When those two angles are added together, we get half of a circle or 180 degrees or a straight line. Now that we've reviewed the amount of degrees in a circle, let's take a look at our problem of the day. It states, use the figure at the right to solve the following problem. The sum of the angles is 360 degrees. What is the measure in degrees of angle A? I want you to read that question again and think about what this question is asking you. Find those key words that can help you figure out an equation to solve this problem. Pause the movie if you need more time. Before we take a look at the answer to problem one, let's take a look at problem number two. It says Malia is solving problem number one on the right and writes this equation, 135 plus 145 equals A. 135 plus 145 equals 280 degrees. Is Malia's work reasonable? Why or why not? Put your answer in the comments. Think about, is that equation going to help us find the value of A in our original problem. Make sure you have put your answers to problems one and two in the comments. If you have not, pause the movie before you get to the answer. To begin this problem, I started by redrawing my figure so that I know I have a 135 degree angle, a 145 degree angle, and angle A. I then made a note to myself that a circle is equal to 360 degrees. This is going to help me as I begin to get ready to solve for A. So what that tells me is that I need to add all three angles together and it needs to equal 360 degrees. So I'm going to start by adding 135 plus 145. When I add those two angles together, that tells me that I'm going to have 280 total degrees. Now I still need to solve for A. In order to be able to do that, I'm going to have to take away from the 360 and subtract 360 minus that 280 degrees. Once I get my problem set up to subtract, I notice that I can't subtract the eight tens from the six tens. So I begin to regroup, changing my three hundreds to two hundreds and my six tens to sixteen tens. I find an answer of 80 degrees. With an answer of 80 degrees, it means A is equal to 80 degrees. When doing a math problem, it's always important that we check our work. So to check my work, if I add 145 plus 135 plus 80, I should get 360. When I add 145 plus 135, I get 280. When I add 280 plus 80, I get 360, proving that my value for A of 80 degrees is the correct answer. Now let's take a look at that second problem. Malia was trying to solve our first problem. She did so by taking 135 degrees plus 145 degrees to equal A. We need to determine whether this was reasonable or not. 
Hopefully, after we've gone over that first problem, you've noticed that this is not a reasonable way to solve this problem. Malia is just adding our two angles together, but that's not going to be what is going to be equal to A. If I were to have 145 degrees plus 135 degrees plus 280 degrees, that would be way more than the amount of a circle, which is 360 degrees. That's it for math today, Kipsters. Way to work hard and look out for some more videos tomorrow. Make sure you know, us teachers, we miss you and we can't wait to be back in the classroom with you again soon.